How will you let your light shine? How will you welcome Jesus into your heart, your home, your life this year? How will you be the light by which others can see God and give Him praise? By which others can see that they too have the light of Christ burning within themselves? There's no single answer. Our answers will be as diverse as this community is diverse. There's no tutorial, there's no workshop. But there is the community of faith. There is the church. And whether it is this parish or another one, whether it is the Anglican Church or another one, the church universal, the church of the living God, is the place where we are called together in worship and praise of our God and in service to others in His name. Because being a Christian is not something that can be done in isolation. It's not a personally satisfactory moral philosophy. Rather, it's a way of life. It's a way of being. It's a way of viewing yourself as part of that community of faithful witnesses on earth and in heaven who show that the promises of God are real and trustworthy. It's not about being perfect. It's not about having all of the right answers. We don't gather together as the church because we have all the right answers. We don't gather in an echo chamber either where a caucus of like-minded people just parrot things back and forth of one another. We gather because of one simple truth. That we believe that Christ lives. That God's presence is living and active in the world and that God's promises to us in the birth of Jesus Christ are trustworthy. We gather because we believe that He lives in us, in all of our frailty and imperfection. He lives in you, and He lives in me. The light of Christ is not an abstract construct, but something that can be seen in the lives of ordinary men and women. We gather to bear witness to that light and ask ourselves, how would we let our life 